Yes, island time, eh? island time. like there's you know, it's time and then there's free time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. There's there's island time and there's Chanel's time, yeah. so we meet in the middle because yeah. I'm never on time, but I was on time today, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so beautiful! I just landed at six thirty this morning and came straight here, so it's been amazing. Um, it's it's really really good to be back. Oh, the journey in the last six years, I've learned so much about myself as a as a woman, as a Polynesian woman, um, and as a, um, a lyricist, you know, and how music really changes people's lives, you know, uh, especially for, for me as a musician changes my life, but how we, how, how just us as musicians, it's, it's just a blessing to be a musician. Music is a universal language. And so, um, six years ago, uh, I, I did see myself here today, you know, I, I'm, I'm, um, I'm one that manifests a lot and I pray a lot and fast. And um, I know all of this is because of God. There's no other person that, um, it's just my hard work, but it's faith. I meet, I meet God halfway, you know? Yeah. And so, yeah, I'm just really excited. I, I've been able to collaborate with, um, with Fiji on so many songs. You have 50 50, Island King. Um, my, my album went, um, Billboard nominee. And, and so, so many great things as far as like those factors of, of things. But th uh, this kind of trip is my favorite when I get to go back to the islands. You know, I get to go back to the roots and, um, it's, it's like my favorite kind of show. Like I get to go to Tonga in December. I go back to Samoa in December. I'm in Fiji right now. You know, I get to go to New Zealand, Australia, and um, just me, just a little girl from Carson, California to be able to travel the world just because of music. Oh yeah, so I started doing music um, when I graduated high school. So I actually played sports my whole life. So I'm the oldest of seven. All my all my siblings are all play sports, um, but I did music. So I ended up not playing softball, dropping out of college. Don't drop out of college. Um, I dropped out of college and I um, just started writing music um, because my brother was shot uh, when we graduated um, high school, and it really made me sad. So our family went into this downhill spiral, you know, of of just depression and sadness, and and that's the thing us as Polynesian people or people in general, we have to find something where we can funnel that negative energy, you know, and, and mine was prayer and writing it out. And so then I wrote the song Bulletproof as a prayer. And after that, I made a video with all my family, not even thinking it just, this was my healing. Like music is my healing. And if I, if, through my healing, I'm healing others, you know? So it's like the Bible says, iron sharpens iron. And that's exactly what I'm here to do. So I, I started that and through my brother's testimony with him being shot, he just passed away. Um, it was his one year last month. And so his name is Justin Lua Falimana and he just really makes, um, me who I am, you know, um, all of his, um, all of the things that happened to him is, is what made me look at the better side of things, you know, the brighter side of life, you know? Um, and so, yeah, I, I started to travel the world, um, with common Kings and that's when I first came here to Fiji. Yes. Um, and that was just amazing. Cause everybody thinks I'm Fiji and everywhere I go to, you know? Um, and so, I started traveling the world and then after that, then, um, I, I came, I became really close with George Vicoso of Fiji, um, your guy, your guys is on, you know, and so he's really shaped me and, um, helped me be the artist and person that I am, you know, when I'm in front of people, um, because you don't have a second chance for a first impression. So, um, I make sure that my first impression is everlasting. Oh, yes. Fiji's one. Mm -hmm. Um, Barris, Barris Hammond, Barrington Levy, Oswald, uh, Whitney Houston, yep. um, Lauren Hill, um, Oh my gosh, this goes to Mary Wells. I love oldies. I love old music. So I, I'm a bit of an old soul ever since I first came here. So like my music, it always has to make sense. Like I can't sing about like the, the new music is nowadays. No offense to the new music, but I can't sing about that kind of stuff. My, I have to have substance. Like I have to be able to play it for my future kids. Yes. And, and, and that's what I value about myself is I'm not going to just sing anything or any lyric. I'm going to sing about what I know is real and true and what I've seen through my parents or seen in relationships. Like I, I didn't ever really had a boyfriend, you know, but love is love. You know, I, I love God. And so i sing about the love that I know that he can bring me one day. So yeah, <laughs> don't stop. Do not stop.
And nowadays with up and coming artists, there's social media. Just, just put your camera up and sing. Like just sing. Like there is so many things. There's like so many one hit wonders or things that can happen. All it takes is one person to see a video that goes viral. Things go viral so quickly these days. And I just say, don't stop. Don't ever stop. Like I've been doing this for 15 years now since I, was 18 years old, you know? Oh, backstory. I didn't even tell you about Cord Brown. I used to yep. sing backgrounds for Cord Brown when I was 18. So I started when I was 18. And I'm way past 18 now, but, you know. <laughs> but he's still like 18, though, you know. <laughs> no, but, you know, I um, I know that um, I, I just never stopped and always just um, have people's backs. But tell the truth. I think mm. um, when you tell the truth, it's, uh, it's what sets you apart from everybody else, so. Oh, just me and my family for holiday. I would love to bring them here to Fiji. I would love to bring my dad here to Fiji. He would love it. Um, my siblings, you know, all my siblings are like so tall. They're like six, eight, you know, super. And then, then they would just love being here just away from um, Los Angeles, you know, the busy, fast paced yeah. life of, you know, going, going, going. But I do want to, I want to bring them to Fiji. Um, definitely, I would say, uh, losing my brother uh, is definitely one. Um, and then I had a, a bit of a heartbreak um, at a period of time in my life where I had to um, just kind of start and venture off myself. So I manage myself now for the past uh, seven years. And so I'm self-managed, self-labeled, um, independent. And so if I can do it and figure it out, Anybody can do it and figure it out, like with with it being music, you know, there's so many avenues of music for distributing your music, you know, out to like I started by just like literally emailing every single person I knew. Um, but it just it just takes applying yourself and really faith. Faith without works is dead. That's it's that description in the Bible. But it, I really live by that. Bula and Tanel, make sure you come to the Wailolo Beach Club for the Stir It Up Music Festival 2022. Let's go. Last time we met, you said you love cover. I do. Is it still the same? <laughs> it's still the same. It's still the same. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank you.